of love Bring me away Take me up to your resurrection place My beloved, bring me awake Cause I wanna see the light on my face There's a sun coming up In my soul, Lord, in my soul Yes, there's a sun coming my soul, Lord, in my soul. My beloved, bring me awake. Take me up to your resurrection place. My beloved, bring me awake. Cause I want to feel the light on my face. There's a sun coming up. Was a 
set free today. Amen. We love you, Lord. Your praise will be on our lips, on our hearts, God. We lift you up today. We thank you, Jesus, for saving us. Thank you, Father, for loving us enough to send them to us. We praise you for your holy name. In Jesus' name, the church said, amen. Amen. You may be I just really sense today that, that God wants to do something in this house with the people that is here. This morning I want you, as we get ready to go into this, I just really feel that at some point in this service, God just really wants to touch some people here today. And I'm not sure how He's going to do it. I know what He said to me. But it's up to you today. Let me preface what I'm going to say just a little bit. As I was thinking about this passage, and I'm not going to run real close with my notes today. I was up at 2.30. Uh, I think it was Saturday morning or one of the mornings. It must have been Saturday morning. I couldn't sleep. And uh, stuff going over and over in my mind. This is my journal uh, that I write in quite a bit. I've got a couple of others. But this is the one I'm in now. It's probably three quarters full uh, of just, you know, my writings. Scriptures, different things God says, says to me, uh, different things. This one goes back to, uh, actually goes back to 08 in some areas. And um, the Holy Spirit woke me up, or really I couldn't go to sleep. I was just sitting there tossing and turning, just speaking some things into my spirit. We have a walk-in closet in our, our bedroom, so uh, I eased out of bed, and went to the closet, turned the light on, and just sat on the floor with my journal and my Bible. And I began to write. This passage had been going over in my mind. And it's in Revelations chapter number 1. I believe it's verse number 7. If you want to look there, you can. It's not going to come up on the screen. We're talking about the building of the church. Our preface that we've been in is Psalm 127 and verse number 1. Unless the Lord builds the house, those that labor, labor in vain. Unless God builds the house, nothing is going to happen. God's trying to build something in some of your lives. And you're, you're frustrated at the process. You know, people will tell you whenever you get ready to build something, you've heard uh, builders say, measure twice, cut once. Measure twice, cut once. Why? Because you want to you make it fit. In your scripture uh, notes today, we talk about being fitly framed together. Jeremiah said, God, you knew me before the beginning of time. You knew me in my mother's womb. And the Bible in Revelation, John is being spoken to. In the Bible in Revelation chapter 1, verse number 17, John is there and all of a sudden the Lord begins to speak to him. And he tells them, he begins to see some different things. He turned and saw the voice number 12. And it says, and when I saw him, in verse number 17... I fell at his feet as though I were dead. But he laid his right hand on me saying, Fear not, I am the first and the last, the living one. I died and behold, I am alive forevermore. And not only am I alive, but I hold the keys. I have the keys to death and hell. He has the key. I begin to think about when John said, I fell as though I were dead. And you know what? The Holy Spirit spoke to me and I wrote it in my journal here. He said, I felt the Spirit say to me that when you get in the manifest presence of God, the true presence of God, your flesh will not be able. Your flesh will not be able to operate. What, what do you mean, Pastor? So many times we want to do things fleshly. We want to make them happen. We want to do this. We want to do that. But let me tell you something. There is a place in God that he is telling some people today that I want to take you to. And when you get there, your flesh, the things that have been holding you back will crumble in, in front of me. John said, and I fell as though I were dead. 
And that's what's been going over and over in my spirit. Gene, that that part where he said, and I fell as dead. God began to speak to me and he said, when my people get in my manifest presence. There is a difference between the omnipresent, I believe, and the manifest presence. Omnipresence, he's with us all the time. But when you get in the manifest presence of God, when you allow God to begin to fit you uh, in that place that he wants you within the building, your flesh will begin to fall. Your flesh will begin to fall. What happens? It's in the presence of Jehovah. In the presence of God Almighty. In the presence. John said, I could not even stand it. There was something that began to happen. And I want to tell you, Evangel, this is what God's saying to me. That I am about to pour out my spirit not so that man can be manifested but so that i can be manifested i believe that god in this church is wanting to move in a way that you have never experienced him before i'm not talking about giddy i'm not talking about any of that i'm talking about in the manifest presence of god to where your flesh will begin to die it'll begin to drop dead what happened after he dropped dead the bible says then the lord laid his right hand on him the hand of strength the hand of authority you may think you're dying but god is telling you before i can ever make a a board That tree has to die that it's made out of. Think about that. That tree has to be cut. That tree has to be laid out. That tree has to go through a sawmill. That tree has to go through a processing before it can ever come to the place to where it is fitly framed together with other people. Here's what the Lord also spoke to me as I was getting ready this morning. He said, not only... That, he said, but I want you to to remember that all of those boards are different boards. They didn't come from the same tree. But they all work together to frame a house that somebody can live in. They all work together to frame that house. And here's what I'm saying to you this morning. That God is wanting to do something in your life that you will be used in a way you've never been used before. I want, you to, I want you to just bow your head for a moment. I'm going to come back and speak some things again in just a little bit. But I'm asking right now the Holy Spirit to settle in this place. I want you right now, I want you to get serious with me. I want you to get real serious with me right now. And if you want God to use you like he's never used you before then I want you to begin to say Father I'm willing for my flesh to fall at your feet I'm willing for for all of my desires to fall at your feet because only when it dies only then can you lay your right hand on me and pick me back up to call me into strength like you're doing only then can you use me only then can your power be manifest some of you ladies went with Brenda the other night and there was a chorus that they sang and when Brenda said it it began to just ring in my spirit and I want you to just right now let the presence of God begin to move over you right now Holy Spirit just begin to settle in this place Today's going to be a different service. But I believe today's God's going to do some things in some people's lives. Right now, just begin to ask Him. Come on. Just begin to ask Him. Just begin to ask Him. Just begin to ask Him. In the presence of Jehovah.
troubles vanish. What's going on in your life? Hearts are mended in the presence of the King. Where are you at today? God speaking to some of you right now. Let me tell you what God began to speak to me. He began to say, LeVon, I want some of these people to move into my presence today. I want them to step out into an area that they become vulnerable. The Bible tells us if we humble ourselves in the sight of God, He will raise us up. God began to speak to me. There are some of you that God is calling to a deeper walk. And you've been resisting Him because you're afraid of what the fleshly things will happen. But God wanted me to tell you today that if you will get in his presence and allow that flesh, I fell at his feet as though I were dead. Then God will take that right hand. He will place it on you. He will raise you up and he will give you the strength that you need. Where does it happen at? In the presence Some of you need this. Prince of Peace. Today, troubles vanish. Your heart can be made. 